It's Jake, and I'm back with vlog number one. New format. I'm absolutely sick and tired of all these series I keep starting and I never finish. I'm constantly thinking about what the next series is going to be, how I'm going to structure it. I'm thinking about ending it before I even start, which then sends me crazy in my head. And then I never even make any videos. So from now on, we've got a new, a new way of doing it. I have got some inspiration from Casey Neistat or Neistat or whatever he is. I'm not exactly sure. But basically guys, I'm just going to bring you me over this next year at least because I've got some hopes and dreams and we're going to make them happen. So I'm going to bring you guys along for the ride. It's going to be me. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. But um, basically, this is my new bedroom. This is it. I own this shit, man. <laughs> I own this place. So over the last weekend, um, I've moved in. I've finally moved into my new place. Um, if you guys have followed me for a while, you'll know that uh, it's been an issue. It's been um, it's been a long time coming, but I'm finally here. So absolutely stoked. The power of a new environment is unbelievable. Um, you know, I was I was really at the end of my tether in, in my old place, um, waiting for this, uh, thinking thinking to myself, I can't continue with any ambitions that I've got until I move into this new place. And I was right because waking up this morning, um, all of those negative feelings had gone. And it's just me now, me, my house, and my dreams. And um, no one's gonna do shit for me. So out here, there's still a huge construction site going on. So this whole place is gonna be a really nice brand new complex. Um, there's been two blocks of 10 units that have been finished. Mine's one of them. And then we've got another 10 over there and we've got another 10 there. And in the middle of it is gonna be an awesome like grassy area. There's a, there's a pool being made um, and all that shit. So I've built, I've bought one unit in this complex of 40. And uh, this is it guys. So this is a spare bedroom. And actually uh, the sheets on my spare bed are better than the ones on my main bed, which is ridiculous. But I finally went with some decent, um, decent sheets. I don't know how good 500 thread count is, but that's what it is and they feel amazing. So um, we've got a bathroom in here and we've got the office right here with a fucking awesome like mezzanine floor looking down into the lounge area. So let's go down there. It's all mine man. We've got the car out here. Um, we've got our own little uh, fucking roller door, which is automatic, which is decent. So this is my little courtyard area. And um, front door there. But I haven't even used the front door once yet, so. Let's uh, go inside. And as I prepared, prepared earlier, we have one smoothie about to go down. Even just coming down here and just having my own blender, just just a blender, man. It's just making me so happy, you know. I've got all the drinks that I want in my in my fridge. Got the Red Bulls, got the Pepsi Max, bananas, things like that. And um, over here is the lounge. So we've got basically you come in the front door here. Um, we've got this area here. As I was saying before, there's a mezzanine floor up there looking over to the office. And then we come out here. It's, it's pretty small down here, but I mean, at the moment I'm just <laughs> concentrating on <coughs> concentrating on furnishing upstairs. And then downstairs is basically a, a blank canvas for whatever I want to do. So it's fucking exciting, man. <laughs> I got some ideas, uh, but I'll keep them under wraps until it actually happens. So, um, Either way, I think it's time for my very first morning smoothie, motherfucker. Let's do it. So in here is one banana, a cup of oats, half a cup of almond milk, and a scoop of protein powder. 
Let's get it. That is absolutely delicious. So I've finished that off. Um, there's a few things I've got to do today. Uh, there's a few things not right with the house actually, so um, that'll be my next task, will be to ring the real estate agent and get some answers because I'm really no expert in all this shit, so um, I'm gonna need some help. All right guys, so here I am, finally sitting down in my office. Unbelievable feeling. It's amazing. This whole place is mine. <laughs> but it hasn't come without sacrifice. It certainly hasn't. And, um, you know, I've had, I've had many a quiet night. I haven't drunk much over the last couple of years. Um, it's also because of the, the fitness lifestyle that I'm trying to live. But it's also because I didn't want to spend money too. So, um, and that first, that barrier, that barrier that stops you from getting your first place is the deposit. And in today's day and age, it's fucking near impossible to save it unless you've got a decent income. And once I did finally get a decent income, or the ability to, to get a decent income, work overtime, things like that, I thought, fuck it, this is my opportunity. Um, no jobs guaranteed. You don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. So I'm just going to knuckle down, save the deposit and, and get it in, basically. So. That's what I did. Um, I did it probably nine or ten months ago. I paid the deposit, um, and uh, here it is. Here we are today. <laughs> so it's it's fucking awesome. Now these new vlogs. I'm just gonna. There's there's not gonna be any road to the stage. There's not gonna be any. Um, you know. Cutting Transformation Episode 1. There's not, there's going to be no episodes. It's just going to be a title and you can make, make of it what you, what you will, but I'd say might be a little bit quirky, something like that, uh, but it's definitely going to be related to what's in the vlog and, and, then, and then I'm just going to do it. So I have a lot of fun editing, um, but I hate it when I'm trying to when, I, when I, I feel like I have to stay within a certain boundary in the series, which there's going to be no boundaries anymore. I, I'm still going to have it related to fitness and bodybuilding and stuff because that's you know what I'm interested in. But it's also going to follow me building my business because by the end of this year, by the end of next year, 2016, I want to have a fully functioning personal training and online coaching business. Now the way I see that happening is to get educated for one. Now I, I reckon I could probably go into the gym right now and, and go and train someone effectively, get a good pump, and they'd probably pay me for it. But um, you know, I really want to get educated on stretching and injuries and injury prevention and how the actual mechanics of the body work, muscles are connected, um, things like that. So I really want to bring a lot of knowledge to the table um, as well as personal experience. And that brings me to my next topic, which is my next cut. Um, I'm not going to, as I said before, I'm not going to make a series, that cutting series or anything like that. But basically, I've got a show in mind, and it's the INBA Darwin Classic, which is in April. So it's the end of, um, coming up the end of December now. So if I start now, I've got probably about 15 weeks to get in shape again. And, uh, and and do my best on, on stage again, because I definitely was, I was bit by the bug, man. I want to do it again, but I want to do a natural show, so I'm on the, a level playing field with all the all the rest of the competitors, as you as I'm sure you can understand. So, um, yeah, those are the plans, guys. I, um, I woke up this morning in my new environment, ready to go, bursting with energy. Well, not really. <laughs> I've actually been struggling with my energy lately. I'm not sure why. It's seriously, it's been since we got back from Stereo Sonic, which was about four weeks ago now. And since then, I've just been lethargic. My mood has been up and down. I think it's probably mostly to do with my environment that I was in. 
um, just waiting for this place and just getting really, really stressed out about it. But um, I'm just going to monitor it over the next couple of weeks. My mood has been up and down a lot. Um, I really don't know why. I really don't. Nothing's particularly changed in my life, but from here on out, another priority of mine is, is going to be my health. Um, I haven't had a proper blood test done ever. You know, I'm 25 now, so I've got to take things into my own hands. It's not my parents that are going to fucking take me to the doctors anymore, it's myself. So not only am I going to be working towards that dream of having my own business by the end of next year, but I'm also going to be taking care of my health. Um, it's that classic male fucking syndrome. You don't want to go to the doctor because he's too scared of what's going to be wrong. Well, I'm going to go to the doctor today. I've got an appointment and I want a referral to go and get my blood test. And then from there, um, who knows? Something might be wrong with me. Something might not. Might well be in my head. But um, I'm not going to leave anything to chance anymore. And we're going to do that. So uh, that's another thing. And last thing before I finish this video. I want to shout out my mate Glenn, Glenn Livingston. He's from Alice Springs and he lives in Melbourne at the moment, but he is, he's getting it, man. He's making it in the world. He's, um, he's making a difference and he's put together his own clothing line. Um, me and the boys, we wore, wore the singlets at Stereos. Fucking awesome, man. Wicked fit. Um, this is just one item of his, but it's basically kind of like a stringer, but it's got, it hangs to the left comes up on the right and basically like it's I, I think it's called a drop singlet or a casual or a, um, no fucks given or something like that stress free because basically you just chuck it on and let it let it lie however it lies and it looks mint as long as it's covering your nipples so um, shout out to Glenn his his brand is identify yourself one word identify yourself .com .au. Um, he's getting it follow them on Instagram it's really awesome stuff. Like if you're, if you know, if you've got a bit of style, if you're a bit of a hipster, or you think you're a bit different, you want to identify yourself, then check out the website. Check out their stuff. Um, it's really good, good quality. And also, the main draw card is that it's completely sustainable, organic cotton, um, sourced. Uh, sorry, I'm not sure where it's sourced. I think it's sourced in Australia, but it's it's um, manufactured in Australia. Um, everything's made in Australia. It's an Australian brand, so go and uh, go and support one of your fellow Australians if you're from here, um, or even if you're from around the world. Go and check it out. Identifyyourself.com.au. So I'm going to leave it there, guys. This is vlog number one. Uh, number two. I don't even want to take the camera in the gym, eh? I want to show you guys what I'm doing around here. So that's probably what will happen. And uh, until then. Uh, keep training hard, make gains, subscribe if you haven't, that would be absolutely amazing. Um, a goal of mine this year was to bring my subscribers up to 500, so we're nearly at the end of the year, and I think I'm at around 4.30, um, so, you know, I've done what I can, but basically, this next year is, is, is the one, and it should be the one for you too, guys, because if you dream big enough, anything can come true and uh, that is going to be my motto to go by over the next year so let's do it let's do it guys mm, that's some good shit see you next one